Facts First presents Scientists Reconstructed an Egyptian Mummy's Throat and It Groaned from Beyond the Grave. Nasiaman served as a priest at an Egyptian temple called Karnak. Today, the Karnak Temple, where he served, is called the Karnak Temple Complex in modern day Luxor. It's Egypt's second most popular tourist site, second only to the Giza pyramids. Back in Nasisaman's day, the area was a cluster of chapels, temples, pylons, and other structures which was important to the religious people in ancient Egypt. Today, many of the structures still remain. The largest portion of the Karnak paid homage to Amun. The ancient Egyptians carried sandstone from 100 miles away to construct the holy site and its statues. One of them was a 95-foot tall obelisk. Not everybody was allowed to approach the structures to Amun either. Nisayamun is one of the only people who earned the right to enter the temple. He had risen through the ranks to become a priest, which showed the level of his dedication to be purified. He was allowed to get close to the statue of Amun, which was the most sacred section of the temple. Nasiamun's work didn't just require him to sit near the statue. He served as a scribe. He led religious rituals and he sang and spoke to worshipers. To him, having a clear voice was very important. Historians know all this and other details about Nasiamun because of the way his body was preserved. Experts found a leather ornament tucked into the bandages wrapped around the priest's body. It indicated that he died under the rule of Ramses XI, who led Egypt from 1113 to 1085 BC. On his coffin, there was an inscription that read, Nasiamun, true of voice. Other etchings revealed that the priest hoped that his soul would be just as vocal. He wanted to speak to the gods when he reached the afterlife. Nasiamun served as a priest until he died around 1100 BC. After his death, he was mummified to prepare him for the afterlife, and today, his remains reside in the UK where it's considered to be one of the country's most noteworthy mummies on display. When Nasiaman died, he had one wish. He hoped for life after death. 3,000 years later, his dream came true. After performing a thorough exam of the body, scientists were able to determine that the priest had gum disease and he started losing some of his teeth. They believed he died in his 50s, likely due to an allergic reaction. Nasiamun's remains were discovered in 1823 when his body surfaced in Karnak. It was sent to Leeds City Museum, where experts have been studying it ever since. The remains of Nasiamun barely escaped World War II. A bombing raid ravaged the museum in 1941, wiping out a large portion of it. Until that point, Nasiamun was part of a trio of mummies. When the bomb hit the museum, the other two mummies were destroyed. Fortunately, only the lid of Nasiamun's coffin was damaged. In 2016, the team at Leeds City Museum transported Nasiamun from his display to a hospital close by the museum. The doctors at the hospital sent the mummies in for a CT scan, which came back with shocking results. The scan showed that even though the body was 3,000 years old, the mouth and the throat were mostly intact. It's believed that expert mummification was the reason for this. What was even more shocking was that Nasiamun's vocal tract was still in excellent condition. This is the part that plays a significant role in creating a person's voice. Scholars from the Royal Holloway, the University of London, and the University of York got together with the team from Leeds City Museum to try and restore the mummy's voice with what they had. The CT scan gave them the blueprint necessary, so they recreated it using a 3D printed version of his vocal tract from his lips down to his larynx. When they created the model, it couldn't create noise on its own. A speech expert combined the 3D model with a loudspeaker. He took the horn-shaped portion at the end of the device and replaced it with the vocal tract remake. The team was thrilled when the experiment actually worked. Here's an actual recording of what the voice sounded like. It's on a loop so you can hear it over and over again because it was a very short sound. <coughs> Yes, the sounds didn't come from Nasiamun himself, but it gave experts an idea of what he sounded like when he lived. It was incredible. According to the research team, this is only the beginning. They're hoping that over time they'll be able to do more with the mummy's vocal tract. It's amazing what modern science and modern technology is capable of. So far, the team's thrilled they managed to make Nasiamun's dream come true. He always wanted to speak after death, and thanks to the team of researchers, he did. Subscribe for more.